here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today I'm coming to you from the Christmas room, AKA the dining room that doesn't have a dining room table in Waynesville, the new dining room Christmas room. Um, Jacob showed parts in his video. I set it up while he was in Dollywood and <laughs> he came home and it was quite the surprise. He um, has since added Marshall. He's made, um, he's added some friends to the Scrambler. So I wanna show you guys so Let's take a look. Scarlet, Scarlet, you're in the corner of the Christmas room. Well, this is like kind of like boxes and then there's some stuff thrown over here to be unpacked. But Scarlet, Scarlet, are you feeling Christmassy? You have your um, litter robot here and your uh, cat tree. And then who's this? You have another friend here. Yep, Jacob set up Marshall. He certainly did, and I added Marshall's red nose, so let's see him in action because he's one of the best parts of, oh no, oh no, come back nose, come back nose. Marshall started moving and now I can't reach the nose. Oh, thank you, Marshall, thank you. Oh no, oh no, there we go. Marshall the Marsh Monster is now the Christmas Marsh Monster, the Christmas <laughs> Marsh Monster Reindeer. And he fits in well with his brother that I showed in a previous video. The actual reindeer that Jacob has named Blaine Deer. So his name is Blaine. He is a reindeer. He is an animatronic reindeer. And I love him so much. Jacob actually went to a um, Christmas event in South Carolina where they had a whole barn full of these animatronic reindeer and I wish I would have gone just to see them. Blaine, who's your friend over here? Stenchy's all decked out for Christmas too in his little hat that's covering his little ear with the ball all the way down there. And then next door we have the Scrambler. So yeah. This is um all decked out. We have a reindeer leading and then all kinds of friends. We have a squishable, a squishmallow. I still don't know the difference. It's one of those. Uh, Christmas tree. We have Christmas Bucky. We have Krampus. We have Max here and another Max and another reindeer. But I want to show this Max because Jacob got him. Oh no, other Max fell. Jacob got him for me last year for Christmas. And um, his little ears flap and he's really cute. And of course he has his little reindeer antler tied atop from the Grinch to pull the sleigh. But yeah, I, I, I love him. His ears are incredible. All right, Max, let's get you guys set up again. So your other Max friend. I realized I don't have a Grinch. I only have two um, Maxes. I need to remedy that. So back here we have Vixen, the Build-A-Bear Reindeer. Down here is another little reindeer friend. Look how cute. Here we have a little moosey friend that I got from my sister. Here, oh no, Earl the Squirrel, you fell down. Here's Earl the Squirrel, one of the Cats has been sleeping. Actually, both cats have been sleeping in here and they kind of nestle in here. But there's Earl, Earl the Squirrel from Universal. Here is another penguin squishable, squishmallow, one of those. Here's a reindeer from my mom. Another reindeer from my mom. A reindeer that is not from my mom, but is a Build-A-Bear reindeer. And then this Christmas tree. And it's, um, pretty ridiculous. It's little mouth moves here and it sings and lights up and I'm, I'm clearly all for ridiculous. I, I love his little mouth. Hello. 
So yeah, that's about all of the scrambler. Let's get Earl propped back up here. There we go. And then over here, I have a couple Christmas statues. Here we have the Ewok Village. You can see the little baby Ewoks here. Little C-3PO toy, a present. We have Wicket on top with the Stormtrooper helmet. And we have um, a bigger Ewok. I don't know if this Ewok by name, but hanging some stuff up, a little Death Star. And there's these little baby Ewoks down here. Look how cute. And this Ewok is hanging up an ornament here. Look at the little decorations. They're all little um, planes. And here's a TIE fighter. Or I'm sorry, TIE fighter here. X-wing here. And then over here, we have the Imperial Starship as a Christmas tree with Vader putting the Death Star on top. And then the Stormtrooper has a candy cane gun. So I showed this side of the Christmas room, but um, I haven't really spent a lot of time on the tree. I'll get to that for sure. But <laughs> just to be clear, there is another side of the Christmas room with more reindeer, more stuff, and look at them all down here. And here's the fireplace that I lit up with Christmas lights. I've added um, Jacob's Moldorama Moldomatics. I call them Molda, Moldorama Maddox because I don't know the difference um, from which company they are. But yeah, a bunch of little reindeer. Here's a little llama with some sloth friends riding on the back. Here are some candles with little reindeer, Jacob and Anna. And as we move down here, here is a reindeer cat toy because the cats can't be excluded from the reindeer fun. And here are Rudolph and his girlfriend. And then here is a line of each reindeer named with their own little personality, their own little gimmick. You can see Cupid here has a bow and arrow. Donner and Blitzen, and then the remainder of Rudolph's crew. So over the years, um, I've asked people to buy me reindeer. I was buying them myself, and then I realized that sometimes they're a lot more special when you get them as a gift. So those closest to me tend to send me reindeer. Um, and buy me reindeer. I mean, Jacob got me the animatronic reindeer this year. But um, there is a reindeer that started the collection, which I will get to after this because we have kind of merged away from reindeer. We have some Yeti and they dance. And sadly, I know these songs verbatim, word for word. Hear me calling. Soon Christmas will be here. Oh, I'm getting ready for a Yeti Christmas. It's the veriest, Yettiest Christmas you can have. I hope you have a Yeti Christmas. It's a very, 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 sings a rendition of sleigh bells walking in a winter wonderland which i'm going to talk over because i'm not sure if it is copyright infringement or not roar and the next door we have the scene from elf boy hope you find your dad and um, I saw this movie for the first time last year and loved it. And the scene came out last year and I needed to have it. I found it on discount and it's incredible. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. But here in the other room, one of the only Christmas decorations in this room is the reindeer that started my collection. My aunt made me this reindeer when I was a baby and I looked forward to it emerging every Christmas and then one year like it never came back up I asked my mom where it was and I guess it was misplaced and I'm not sure but um I got it as an adult and now 
I collect other reindeer. And yep, this was the start of it all. So I said we would get to it, and here it is, with presents beneath the Christmas tree. Oh, Marshall's excited. Marshall's excited for the Christmas tree. You can see Yoda atop. Um, he's kind of slanted. Jacob had a really hard time getting him up there. He fell once, and then we had to kind of like battle to get him up there. So he's there, but he's definitely crooked. And then the remainder of the tree with many ornaments. Um, everyone has a story for their ornaments. I am no different. Um, since my parents have both passed, I have some of my childhood ornaments. There are some ornaments that um, I've collected with Jacob. And then just some fun, some nerdiness, some ornaments for the cats. Um, Jacob got me this ornament. I showed it in my previous video. A horse of a different color. He got me this this year. We both um, love The Wizard of Oz and this is our favorite scene. So of course this is what <laughs> my ornament needed to be. And then this year I got Jacob this ornament which is Walt and Mickey and it's the statue that you can find as I believe you enter, but at least within um, Disney World. And there's some more fun here. It is Santa and Carbonite, and I showed in my previous video this ornament, which is Han um, being dipped into Carbonite. <laughs> it's a very elaborate ornament. You can see the whole thing in my last video. Here is my ornament last year from Jacob from when he went to Hershey's. Um, we kind of split up. I filmed the store and he went to the park and then he came back with this and I love it. There's a few ornaments on here I got last year as well when my sister went to Frankenmuth. I love this one. Here's a dinosaur with a unicorn on top and then look at this one. This one is a dinosaur jumping over a rainbow and it has a unicorn horn. Here is my ornament for my tribute to Buffalo. It is a butter lamb, which you can find out around Easter with the Alleluia scarf. Here is a reindeer ornament I made as a kid. And then here, even older, is Baby's First Christmas 1983. My baby ornament. Here is my ornament from when I visited the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland when I went to the NFL draft there. That was a lot of fun. And then here is an ornament from Rochester from the Genesee Brew House, which I'm glad to have since I'm no longer in Rochester. There's another Rochester ornament as well. Maybe I can find that one. Actually, there's a couple more Rochester ornaments. So there's this one from the Red Wings Baseball. Here we go, there's the little mascot, which is adorable, and the logo. But here's the Rochester ornament I was originally thinking of with the skyline, and it used to light up. I believe it is dead. Yeah, I need to get new batteries for it. They're watch batteries, so I have to hunt those down. But speaking of lighting up, I know this one still lights up, my Bucky's ornament. And when I got it, I didn't even know it lit up. And I just happened to twist it weird and it lit up and I was so excited, like so ridiculously excited. It's definitely one of my favorites. Here is the reindeer ornament that Jacob got me last year as well. And then we got this ornament at Disney World that says um, 2022 on there, the first year that we went. Um, it's probably kind of hard to tell, but the castle is in there. There's different characters painted on. I'm trying to see how to best show you guys. Yeah, I think you guys can see. But yeah, it's a super cool ornament and super fragile, so I'm trying not to like bonk it somehow. This little guy I got the other day in Brevard. He is a white squirrel and Brevard is known for white squirrels. It's about an hour outside of Waynesville in North Carolina. And yeah, I was, I was shocked that we actually saw a real white squirrel. And then um, we got this little guy and then this at the aluminum 
Christmas Tree Museum, also in Brevard. Oh, and look at this. Of course, there's Star Wars ornaments. So it says, Chewy Bells, Chewy Bells. And this was handmade in Rochester. Um, it's actually in my Krampus video from last year. And my friend Annie designed this. We have a cute little reindeer, the Grinch, kitty paw prints and this little snowman that i made in 1990. thank you so much for joining me here in the christmas room the dining room whatever this is um it's not going to be the christmas room after christmas then we will buy a dining room table and have it here i think you could still fit a dining room table in here if we had to um yeah, I think that would be possible. Or maybe eat on the reindeer or the scrambler or somewhere. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to post some videos. They won't be as frequent since um, soon we are heading north again for the holidays. And we're going to check out some places on the way. So I hope you will tune to Jacob's channel to see our adventures. This room, sadly, will not even be occupied on Christmas Day because we will be at Jacob's mom's, but when we return, we're going to open presents here. So that'll be exciting. So there will be some Christmas occurrences in <laughs> the home in North Carolina. So thanks again. I have a Patreon. I have a cameo. Yeah, that, a cameo. Oh, someone told me, I think in the comments, that um, if Cammy, my cat, had a cameo, it would be a cami -o. and it made me laugh, and the way that I messed up the pronunciation made me think of that. But yes, I have a Patreon, I have a cameo, I have social media, so I'll be around, and I hope you guys have a happy holiday season. Bye!